Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. A few days after officially starting science operations, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope propelled astronomers into a realm of early galaxies, previously hidden beyond the grasp of all other telescopes until now. Once again the universe has surprised us. These initial findings are from a broader web research initiative involving two early release science, ERS, programs, the GRISM Lens Amplified Survey from Space, Glass, and the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, CEERS. With just four days of analysis, researchers found two exceptionally bright galaxies in the Glass JWST images. These galaxies existed approximately 450 and 350 million years after the Big Bang, with a redshift of approximately 10, 5 and 12, 5, respectively, though future spectroscopic measurements with Webb will help confirm. Based on all the predictions, we thought we had to search a much bigger volume of space to find such galaxies, said Castellano. These observations just make your head explode. This is a whole new chapter in astronomy. It's like an archaeological dig, and suddenly you find a lost city or something you didn't know about. It's just staggering, added Paola Santini, fourth author of the Castellano et al. While the distances of these early sources still need to be confirmed with spectroscopy, their extreme brightnesses are a real puzzle, challenging our understanding of galaxy formation. Noted Pascal Osh at the University of Geneva in Switzerland, second author of the Naidu et al. Paper. The web observations nudge astronomers toward a consensus that an unusual number of galaxies in the early universe were much brighter than expected. This will make it easier for Webb to find even more early galaxies in subsequent deep sky surveys, say researchers. We've nailed something that is incredibly fascinating. These galaxies would have had to have started coming together maybe just 100 million years after the Big Bang. Nobody expected that the Dark Ages would have ended so early, said Garth Illingworth of the University of California at Santa Cruz, a member of the Naidu, OSH team. The primal universe would have been just one hundredth its current age. It's a sliver of time in the 13.8 billion year old evolving cosmos. Erica Nelson of the University of Colorado, a member of the Naidu, OSH team, noted that, our team was struck by being able to measure the shapes of these first galaxies. Their calm, orderly disks question our understanding of Ho. These galaxies are very different than the Milky Way or other big galaxies we see around us today, said True. Illingworth emphasized the two bright galaxies found by these teams have a lot of light. He said one option is that they could have been very massive, with lots of low-mass stars, like later galaxies. Alternatively, they could be much less massive consisting of far fewer extraordinarily bright stars, known as population 3 stars. Long theorized, they would be the first stars ever born, blazing at blistering temperatures and made up only of primordial hydrogen and helium, before stars could later cook up heavier elements in their nuclear fusion furnaces. No such extremely hot, primordial stars are seen in the local universe. Eventually, follow-up spectroscopy measurements showing how light has been stretched in the expanding universe will provide independent verification of these cosmic yardstick measurements. NASA, 
Goddard Space Flight Center. NASA's web draws back curtain on universe's early galaxies. Science Daily. Science Daily, the 17th of November 2022. ift.tt/tmn3q6h. NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. 2022, November 17. NASA's web draws back curtain on universe's early galaxies. Science Daily. Retrieved November 17, 2022 from ift.tt slash tmn3q6h NASA, Goddard Space Flight Center. NASA's web draws back curtain on universe's early galaxies. Science Daily. ift.tt slash tmn3q6h. Accessed November 17, 2022. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel for more videos.